All right, hi, uh, it's day two, uh, and time to uh, see whether or not the brush out goes um, as planned. So here's hoping. Uh, so first thing I'm gonna do is obviously I'm going to take out all of my curlers and my pins and uh, go from there. So uh, here is what it looks like when the curlers come out. Uh, so first up, as most of us know, just kind of brush it a little bit with the fingers to loosen it up. <clears throat> okay, so from here I'm going to use a couple of tools. I'm going to use again my black comb and uh, the ever precious Denman brush. some ductile clips and some wave clamps so these you can get at Sally Beauty to help form the waves so first step is doing some brushing I'm not using any particular technique here, just kind of brushing, starting at the ends so I don't pull my hair out. All right, so now I think I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready to start. Okay, so I'm gonna find my part, wherever I want that part to be again. Start there. And I'm going to make sure that I have some duck clamps and wave clamps available. And we're going to start by taking at the part and brushing forward. Okay. So once I've got it brushed forward, I'm then going to hold it with my hand, so this is the start of the finger waves. I'll hold this whole section with my hand, and then I'm going to brush it back. You can see that formed a little wave there. And I'm going to go ahead and put my that clips in at the center of that wave to hold it in place. And it'll help. And you can see that because we brushed it forward and then back, it's starting to kind of create this ridge here, which is where we're going to put the wave clamps eventually. So we've got it brushed back. I'm going to hold it, kind of brush it forward a little bit again to kind of give it some shape. And here's where we got to play a little bit. So we got to play a little bit with brushing it back and holding it and kind of pushing it so that, that ridge forms. Making sure our clamps stay in place. Just kind of hold it down and press up a little bit. You can see that ridge forming. And when I get the ridge that I like, I'm going to hold it in place with the wave clamps, which are actually going to help 
pull it and exaggerate it. <clears throat> so. All right, so this is the way of going back. And now we're going to brush forward again, trying not to disturb those clamps. So I see the center of my wave here. I'm going to pick it up with my duck bill, which I put in upside down. Try not to do that. It'll stay better if I put it the right way. And again, you can see that next ridge starting to form. As it wants to be brought forward. And then again, just kind of press it up. Kind of like a finger wave, but you're not pushing it up in quite the same way because it's not wet hair and it's forming it itself already. And when you get that ridge, you can clamp it down. With wave clamps. Starting to look like a metal head here. So that's the basic procedure, and you're going to do that as you go around. We could start on the other side because we rolled these as we rolled these forward towards our head as we came around. They rolled back. The procedure is going to be the same as it was on this side of the part. So we're going to start brushing forward. I find this side a little harder, so this is the side where I often put a, a clip in. It's harder for me to brush this way. But we're going to try and do the same thing. Hold it down and brush back so that we form that little wave there. And we see the structure of that wave. our duckbill in to hold it in place right in the center of that push forward uh, so that you can start to see that ridge forming there right hold that down we get to brush it back again uh, and you're going to see more of that, that little ridge there now because we went all the way around the head you could actually try and do this all the way around the head, which I haven't quite mastered yet. So all of this is going this direction. Do it all the way back side of the head. All direction. And try and hold it. And brush this way, and hopefully something, hopefully something will look good. So it's not perfect, but you can see that there is a little bit of a, of a dent there. Caught a little bit in here. So I'm going to go ahead and try and put a duck bill back there. This is the hardest part. Accentuate that direction. And I'll follow it. Brush it back the other way. that you're forming some sort of ridge. So that one's pretty clear here. This one less so. So I use the comb to kind of help 
push up into fine where that bump is supposed to be. So it wants to kind of form a ridge right there. Not perfect, but I'm go for it. Ridge here. Not perfect, but good enough. At this point, I could probably take the duck bills out of the top. They're going to hold pretty well. All right. So we came back and forward. So we're going to go back again on this side. Continued the motion of brushing all the way around my head. Okay, so my camera tag got on me, so what you missed is at the end, I think, um, I just take the stuff at the bottom and I just brush it against my hand, brush under. My hair has a tendency towards frizz, so if you use pomade, maybe this would be where you do it. I don't know, I haven't figured out how to use pomade without making my hair just sticky. So I just embrace the 30s fluff and I kind of go with the devil make hair nature of it. Okay, so this is what we have. At this point, I would use so the hairspray that I use, the Veda Control Force. Um, it's what I've been using for years, so I'm not particularly attached to it. And I'm really not spraying the bottom here, I'm just spraying the top part that has the clamps in it. If you want a little bit of an extra ridge, you can see that a ridge kind of wants to form here. So I could actually, if I wanted to, put another row of clamps right up in this section. Which I think I did the second day of this style, but not the first day. Um, but you know, it's kind of up to you if you want a little extra, a little extra clamp there. I usually let the hairspray dry for a couple of minutes, um, just to make sure it's dry, and that's when I start taking out my clamps from the bottom to the top, so I don't pull excessively. If I pull a little bit, it's not the end of the world because we are going to go through and do a little extra combing. 